And right now we've got the Aztec Athletic Director, John David Wicker. And, and JD, you're, you're still within the first year of uh, your job here, so this is your first Aztec Fan Fest. Uh, your initial thoughts of what you're seeing this afternoon? Uh, so far, excited. We had a, uh, a great turnout. Rocky did a, uh, a chalk talk before the game with, um, with some of our donors uh, up in the club area. So it's been great. I mean, we're excited. We're excited to have Qualcomm. The field's in great shape, mm -hmm. and it's going to be an exciting football season. Yeah, now on the topic of Qualcomm, the naming rights deal is now done. So do you have a name you're leaning towards that you'd like the stadium to see called? Um, I'm just, I'm happy to be playing here. I guess I should call it San Diego Stadium. It's technically Jack Murphy Field at San Diego Stadium. We're just happy to be here, and, you know, we plan on being here for a long time. Okay. With the Chargers having moved, I know you guys are thinking perhaps more attendance this year, maybe more season tickets purchased. Have there been more season tickets purchased, and, and what kind of crowds are you anticipating now that the Aztecs uh, or that the Chargers are gone? We've sold approximately 3,000 more season tickets than we did last year. A lot of those folks calling in, you know, said they were Charger season ticket holders. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to one those people showing up, and then other folks who may not have come out before buying a single game ticket, coming out for a game, getting to see what it's all about. And hopefully, we can convert them to to season ticket holders. So we're looking for good crowds. Okay. Tell me the latest on on a new football stadium for San Diego State. I know the Soccer City plan is kind of on hold until November 2018 election. Are the Aztecs waiting around for that, or are you guys developing your own plan? And if so, what, what is that? We are absolutely working on uh, our own plan at this point. We put out, you know, a two-pager a couple weeks ago talking about our vision for Mission Valley and a stadium. And we'll continue working on that. And then hopefully by the end of the year, early next year, we're going to, you know, we'll release the San Diego State plan for Mission Valley as a whole and a stadium in particular for athletics and, you know, talk about the great things that San Diego State uh, being in Mission Valley would do for the city. Okay. I know for myself as an Aztec alum, one of the things that bothered me about this stadium was that the Aztecs were always second fiddle to the Chargers, and that's one of the things I did not like about Soccer City is that the Aztecs would be second fiddle to the soccer team. I feel it should be the other way around. In your plan, would a soccer team be welcome where the Aztecs are kind of the main tenant and then the soccer team would be a second tenant? No, absolutely. We're going to, when we design a stadium, we're going to design a multi-use stadium that works for both college football and for MLS soccer. We absolutely want to partner. We think MLS mm -hmm. soccer would be great. And I think you can build a stadium that serves both appropriately uh, and will be a great experience for both. So we're, we welcome an MLS partner and we're excited to build a stadium. And right behind us, we just had the Aztec score a touchdown, so that's good timing. Your thoughts about this Aztec football team? Seven times to a bowl game, seven consecutive years. What do you anticipate? How many wins? Can you put a number out there for us? I don't know that I'll put a number out there, okay. but uh, two-time, <laughs> you know, defending Mountain West Conference champions. Uh, we're picked to win the West this year. So I think the expectation is that, you know, win the West and then go play in the championship game and see what happens. You have to, you got to win the conference championship to get to the access ball in the college football playoff. So that's our plan. All right, J.D., we really appreciate your time. Have fun the rest of the day. All right, I appreciate it very much. Go Aztecs. All right, Aztecs Athletic Director uh, John David Wicker there.